Hello my friend, I'm Adam Bensky. In this tutorial I will present you several apps for Python. Python because you don't have to install whole Android Studio and set up your environment. You can create a simple app just in one minute. Generally, on a Google Play Store you can find a lot of Python apps, but most of them are tutorials for learning programming language. Now I will present you six Python apps where you are able to run your code written in Python. Let's start! The first one is Pionic Python 3. It's just an interpreter in version 3.6 and nothing more. The only additional option is that we can select from internal memory an executable script and run it here. There is no editor, so you cannot create any script. This app is only for trying new Python commands in interactive mode. Second app is Python for Android. Here we have an editor, so significant progress in compared to previous app. This app runs old Python in version 2.6, so very old. Anyway, we have some example programs, rather for learning Python. It's also possible to save our scripts. Next app names Python Tutorial and Compiler. In fact, it's a tutorial and a very basic editor without possibility to save script. App is rather oriented for learning programming language and contains several pages about absolutely basic stuff. Here the app name Compiler is confusing because Python is interpreted, not compiled. The fourth app, PyDroid 3, can be used for normal Python development on Android. PyDroid allows to run Python 3.6 code. App has got very nice editor with syntax highlighting. PyDroid allows to use external libraries like Kiwi apps for GUI, NumPy for large-scale equations, Matplotlib for drawing data, and Scikit for machine learning. PyDroid contains PDB debugger and PIP for installing other packages. I strongly recommend to take a look at this app, especially that it is in continuous development. There is also a premium version of PyDroid with extra features like code completion and code analysis. Now I will present you small Kiwi example program from internal samples library. Next is QPython, which is available in two versions, QPython 3 with default Python 3.2 and QPython with Python 2.7. Firstly, I will show you QPython 3. Here we have possibility to run Python commands in an interactive session, like on PC or with using editor. Python version is default 3.2 after installing additional plugin version 3.6. Code in editor scripts is also highlighted. Editor, except writing for a console, also allows to create projects for Kiwi GUI and web applications. Generally, this app from unknown reason is much less developed than normal QPython. As a demonstration, it's an example project of web application. Last app is simply QPython. Functionality of this app is similar to QPython 3, but from different reasons it is better developed, although uses older Python 2.7. Nevertheless, here we have also possibility to use 3.6 version after installing plugin. QPyP is a tool to install additional libraries. Here we have also possibility to use machine learning libraries after installing plugin iPy. Inside app, there is also available course which learns how to use this app. Creators of this app have noticed that writing bigger scripts on the phone is not comfortable, so we have three possibilities. 
First of them is to copy code from created QR link. You can easily try this option over web browser and in online QR generator create some code. After scanning with QPython, you will have it automatically in a dipper. Very convenient. Second option is using FTP protocol. It's enough to activate it in settings of QPython and then files with code can be moved between PC and smartphone. In my video for Total Commander you can learn how to use this program for FTP connections. Third possibility is to use QEditor. After activating it in libraries of QPython, it is possible to open a simple editor directly in computer browser, inside the same LAN network. Now I will present you simple Kiwi GUI app which I created for this video, link to source file in description. Writing code in following application is not the only way to create an app in Android. There are also tools which allow to translate Python code to Java, native language for Android. Such methods will be presented in a future videos. Inside description you will find a link to article on my website with all content uh, for this video. That's all for now. My friend, if you would like to support creating new videos for this topic, you can leave a like and click subscribe button. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!